In this section, uh, we will discuss about the OSPF down bit into the MPLS VPN. What is the use of that and why we need the down bit into OSPF? First of all, uh, let me uh, tell you that you do not need to do any configuration related to down bit. It is automatically there into the background. Okay, so what is the problem here and why it was designed? Let's have a quick look here. So we have the customer as device here, CE1. So it advertise one prefix, let's say 3.3.3 .3 to the PE device here. So now because we have the IBGP between the PE devices, so PE device is going to send this particular information to PE2, right? So PE2 and also to PE3. IBGP via IBGP. So now PE3 and PE2, they both receives this information via IBGP. So the AD value will be 200, right? So now let's uh, consider this that PE2 redistribute this information into the OSPF so that this particular prefix can reach to CE1, right? Then CE1 sends this in information to CE2 and CE2 sends this information back to PE3. So now see what PE3 is receiving the information of same prefix 3.3.3.3 one from the IBGP neighbor, right? And second it is receiving from CE2 and with C2, it is having the OSPF neighborship. So for IBGP, what is the AD value? The AD value is 200. And what is the AD value of OSPF? It is 110, right? So that is why now PE3 is not going to accept the IBGP learned prefix. So it is going to accept the OSPF learned prefix. And now it is because we do have the mutual redistribution. So PE3 is now going to redistribute this particular prefix back into the IBGP or back into the PGP VPN before. Then this information will keep on redistributing on the provider as devices, right? So now we do have a potential loop in our network for this particular prefix. So the information will keep on redistributing into the MPLS VPN cloud. So what is the solution of that? So the solution is the down bit and how exactly it works is when the PE device redistribute the PGP learn route into OSPF, let's consider here that PE2 receives 3.3.3 .3 from PE1 and now it redistributed this particular prefix into OSPF to CE1. So during that time, it will set a down bit. Now this information uh, uh, from CE1, uh, it sent to CE2 and then back to PE3. Now PE3 will receive this particular information from OSPF with a down bit with a down bit. So the rule of the down bit is when the providerized device is going to receive any information with a down bit, it is not going to consider this particular update. Okay. So now this OSPF learn route, it will be invalid for PE device and it will just uh, assume or it will consider the IBGP learn route as a best though the ad value is low for the ospf learn route but we do have the down bit set into the update that is why it is not going to consider this so this is how the loop is avoided into the mpls vpn when we are using the ospf and when there are mutual redistribution and somehow the information comes back to the pe devices so this is how the uh, provider as devices avoid the loop so I can uh, quickly demonstrate this, though it is uh, running into the background, but we can see it quickly. 
let me go back. So we do have this uh, topology. I'm not going to configure anything because uh, just to save time. So I'll just uh, explain. So between <clears throat> R8 and R1 or between R8 and PE1, uh, as we are running the OSPF area zero, so we do have one redundant link between uh, the MPLS backbone and the customer S devices. So between R8 and uh, R9, we have a redundant link. And now we are also considering that P, uh, R9 is also a PE device. And between R9 and R8, we are running area 89 instead of area zero, it is area 89. So now if I go to R9, and check show PGP and we are advertising the loopback of R8 into OSPF. So R8 is going to send this particular information to R1. R1 is going to send this particular information to the route reflector. Route reflector will send this information to R9, R3 and R4. And at R9, because we are importing the routes, uh, that is why it is going to install it into the VRF that we have configured at R9. So at R9, I just uh, put the name of VRF as test. So between the R9 and R8, so the interface F0 by 0, we are uh, running VRF test. So finally, R9 receives this information from the route reflector. So uh, as a BGP update, now it is going to redistribute it into the OSPF and that is where it is going to set the down bit because R8 is also sending 8.8.8 .8 .8 to R9. And if you look here, the from R8, it must be the best path, right? Because from R8, it is receiving it as an OSPF update and from the route reflector, it is receiving as an PGP update with a higher AD value, right? Now let's check it R9. If I do a show IP route VRF, so we are running here VRF test between R8 and R9. Now you can see 8.8.8, .8 it is uh, <clears throat> for the best path, the best path for 8.8.8 .8 .8 is via the PE1, not via R8, but it is still receiving this route from R8. If we check at the OSPF database, show IP OSPF database. Now look here, it is receiving the 8.8.8 .8 .8 from R8, right? Into area 89, but the best is still via IBGP. If we uh, open up this uh, database, if I do a show IP OSPF database summary, 8.8.8. .8 now you can see here, because the downward bit is set for this 8.8.8, .8 now you can see even though we have set high metric for the IBGP LAN route and from R8 is also it is receiving, right? Link state ID R8 advertising router is 8.8.8. .8. The metric value is one and the metric is very high <clears throat> for the uh, for the one where the down bit is set, still it is the best path, right? So this is how the down bit works. So let me brief you quickly. So the down bit is used to avoid the loops into the MPLS uh, VPN cloud when we are using OSPF. So if a PE device into the MPLS VPN, it receives an update with a down bit uh, set, then it is not going to accept that particular uh, information. Though it will be uh, visible into the database, but it is not going to install it into the routing table. So this is how the down bit works into OSPF. So this was all about the OSPF uh, down bit. If you like my uh, videos, then I would request you to like, uh, subscribe and share my videos. Thanks for watching.